<laughs> okay, here we are. Hi. <laughs> okay. So can you can you please introduce us to yourself? Yes. Hi everyone. I'm Energy. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, tell us what, what you do. Like, what's your thing? So I do. Um, I actually do a lot of different things. Um, but the major things that I do is I'm a singer songwriter um, I've been singing for a very long time so this year I've really been like projecting myself and putting myself out there and my music um, I also am a full-time student I'm a social worker and I do tarot readings so what made you start getting into singing um singing has been something that I've been doing like pretty much all my life since I was little so the background story is um, when I was little, my grandmother actually gave me like a tape recorder and cassettes and I would sit at, like on my porch when I was a kid and just like write songs, like make up characters and be different people and just like create this, this whole life for me. Um, and singing was something that I did all the time. So as I got older, like doing choir and competitions and it was just something that became like just a really primary focus in my life. And I love it. It's a great, great coping mechanism. And um, I just like putting my, putting my creativity out there for people. So that was one of my questions actually. So you are classically trained. Yes, yes, I am. And you're um, a soprano, mezzo soprano. I used to be a soprano one, like the highest soprano. Um, but over time, I feel like like getting colds or just like not training and like keeping up and maintaining my voice. I would say that I'm like a soprano two, maybe. That's, I don't know. It's been that's, a while. That's, yeah. No, because like I, I feel like listening to your videos, your range is very, very wide. Yeah, thank you. I try. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can tell. No, you, you can definitely tell. <laughs> cool. Cool. Um, what 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 advice? Because like I'm, I'm sure you like you definitely see like tons of like people on. I don't know what else other social media you have. Like maybe on YouTube, yeah. on Instagram, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, of these singers straightening their voices. So, right. what advice would you give to these musicians, vocalists, uh -huh. in order to help not strain their voice? Um, if you don't have to rehearse, don't rehearse. Trust yourself and be confident in that. Like, I will rehearse, like, if I'm nervous, like, I'll like, okay, let me just do this over and over and over again, until I have no more energy and my voice is strained. Um, and then I'm wasting all this time. And then I can't actually sing the way that I want to because I was too busy practicing being confident and trusting yourself and that you got it, you know, so like, don't overdo it or rest you know, drink your tea, take your time, don't talk. Um, that helps, that helps in preparation, especially like if I have like a big performance. Do you, do you perform live often? Like not on on social media, but like in real life? Um, I used to. Pre, pre pandemic. <laughs> right. Pre pandemic. Okay. <laughs> right. Pre pandemic, I would say um, not often, but like, especially like when I was in college and like shortly after I was performing a lot. Um, but now it just so happens that I have a performance on Sunday and I'm having all these different opportunities that are coming up where I'm able, like people have been hitting me up. Um, this Thursday, I have like a live um, open mic on Instagram. It just so happens somebody invited me to it. So all of these other opportunities are coming too because of this. So, so do you do like the, you don't talk for those and up until your performance in order to help save your voice? I'll do like, I'll, like, I'll talk, but as far as like rehearsing, like I'm only going to rehearse once or twice and that's it. And I'm going to make sure that it's a song that I know it's a song that I'm comfortable in. I know the range I've done it before, like, or I've rehearsed it prior. Like, let's say the performance is on Thursday. So maybe tonight I'll do a little something tomorrow. I'll lock it in and then Thursday I'll be good to go. So I try my best, like, not to be like super like out there and talk and talkative and just, just for the sake of talking, like, I'd like to save it. Yeah. So I'm ruining your practice right now. No, nah, girl, you good. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I won't, <laughs> I won't, I won't keep you too long, I promise. <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't mind talking. Like, I talk all the time. It's, 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 it's perfectly fine. You're good. 
But I, I was pointing this out to a friend recently, like, and, I, and I said that I feel like singers are very gentle talkers. Mm. Some you, of do you them find probably that? are. A gentle talker. I can be really loud. Um, <laughs> I can be really loud. Like, you can ask all my friends. Like, I laugh a lot, and I laugh very loudly. I talk very loudly most of the time. Um, I think that I have, like, a calming energy. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty loud. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of gossip. Okay. Okay, Brandy versus Monica. Did you see it? Of course <laughs> so I did. I watched the loud. whole thing. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> K is K is growth said you laugh very loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, okay, so Brandy versus Monica, what did you think? Like, give us your your view of it, and then tell us who you think won. Mm, yeah. Okay. So my view was it was really dope to see them both there. Um, I could tell, like, I don't know, I got really good energy from Brandy, and that's literally what I've been seeing on the gram from, like, everybody's responses, everybody's like, she, like, so many people are like, oh, she was shady last night towards, like, Monica, but I didn't really get that vibe, I just got that she was just having a really great time, and she was just happy to be there and wanted to just soak up the moment, um, it hit 1.2 million. So it was a really great turnout. You know, everybody tuned in. I think um, I would have definitely liked to see them sing together, especially for the boys' mind. I thought that that's what they were going to do because they saved it for the last song. So everyone was like ready for that. And then they really didn't sing it. So I was kind of like, what the hell? But I think overall, I'm going to have to go with Brandy. Agreed. You know, like I lo like as I was listening, I was like, yo, I forgot how many hits that Monica has. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It's just something about Brandy's music too. Maybe it's just her style, it's her vibe, it's the energy, you know, it, it's a whole it's a whole package. So yeah, I thought I think Brandy. What about you? I, I agree. I think I think Brandy nailed it. I think Brandy just came to have fun. Yeah, and I, and I love, and, and maybe it was the producers, you know, because like you know they like they whisper in their ears, mm -hmm. you know, like oh such and such said this person about you, but like I feel like, yeah, maybe maybe they told Brandy to be more chill, and they told Monica to be more competitive, but it worked. Two million, it I did. I can't think of one video live that's had two million views, right. So this is this is great for just like, for black culture in general. Exactly. It was like super super anticipated. It was the highlight of everybody's summer. <laughs> yeah. <For real. laughs> and we had just had like this crazy week. So so much is going on. So I felt like we really needed that. So it was dope. It was really dope. Yes. 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 Okay. So um, who are some of your um, musical inspirations? Yes. Great question. Um. So first off, number one is Erica Badu. She um, is like my favorite. Um, I listen to all of her music. Like I know it all. I know all the albums, all the songs. Um, there's just something about her energy like I just gravitated to. Um, but then to take it back, I would honestly say like Nat King Cole and Natalie Cole. I love them. Um, so I grew up listening to a lot of their music as well. Um, also... Who else? Jill Scott. Love her as well. Um, you have a very soulful background. Yeah. Thank you. I, uh, I I guess I do. Sometimes I, like, honestly, sometimes I don't necessarily think that I do. Like, sometimes I feel like I do sound, like, a little soulful, but um, I don't, I personally don't feel like I have, like, one of those, like, powerhouse voices. It's more of a, um, like, sultry jazzy type vibe i don't know yeah the genre mm -hmm. yeah. yeah is is that something that your mom like or grandmother would say during christmas that's what you guys were listening to or, or you were just like curious just scrolling through what do we what do we scroll through back then <laughs> well <laughs> back then <laughs> back your back back. Your MTV. <laughs> I don't, like, how do we listen to music back then i don't remember right um, <laughs> CDs, lots of CDs, and what was that thing that you could download the music? Um, you know, uh, LimeWire, like stuff oh like that. God. <laughs> oh my god, that was a while ago, like just downloading <laughs> stuff illegally. Um, 
But I grew up like in a very religious household. So the music that we listened to was either gospel music or contemporary Christian. So Mm -hmm. I had to like find, like do my own thing and step outside of that and find um, different artists. So like my uncles used to live in my house. And then when they had moved out, they like they left a lot of their CDs, a lot of their music, like um, Avant, Carl Thomas. So we're taking it back to like that R&B. And that's when I started listening. And that's when I started listening to Natalie Cole too. So I kind of had to like rebel and secretly listen to this music. Um, and that's where I came from. Like, that's my background, really. So if you can yeah. col- collaborate with anyone, both A, living and both dead, B, mm-hmm. who would they be? Mm. I mean, mm, that's a great question. Um, I would totally say, I would totally say Nat King Cole, for sure. I would love to. Mm-hmm. I would be honored. Natalie Cole. Um Living, I mean, definitely Erica Badu, but I also mm. like, like, I would love to collab with Kendrick Lamar. I would love to collab with Common, like, just um, different artists like that. Yeah, I, mean, I got to think about that. That's a good question that I never even thought of. No, those are good like, answers, though. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I think I think Kendrick Lamar is in the the African American History Museum, right? Honestly, I don't know. I, I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm like I'm like sixty five percent sure. Okay. If if anyone wants to like Google fact, fact me, feel right? free to correct me. <laughs> I have no problem with being wrong. <laughs> okay. So um. Wait, what? I love that you are oh, so okay. um, so, organized. So, so. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I try. But here's the thing, though. Like, I write, and I'm like, oh, I know I know what I'll mean later. But I'm like, Got no. What? <laughs> 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 so your posts um, yeah. have a huge combination. It's, 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 it's like a marriage of, of pain and hope, mm. if that mm. makes sense. Yes. So is that something that you're very intentional about or like w- um, what is your intent when, when you're posting? To represent how I feel at that moment. So I literally go through like highs and lows of my life and I'll have one great day and then the next day will not be so great. <laughs> so for me, it's like writing and singing. That is just how I release those emotions. Um, and I think that like, it, I could easily just write about happy times all the time, but nobody has happy times all the time. So mm-hmm. for me, it's like I'm just being true to how I feel when I'm writing my music, whenever I'm writing it. So it might come out looking, you know, like pain. Like we've all had like a really crazy year. Like this has been, this has been nuts. Um, so because of that, it has inspired me to write a lot about like the pain that we're feeling. It has a lot to do with like loss and grief and confusion and uncertainty. Um, So when I'm writing, I'm feeling all of that, feeling all of those emotions when I put, you know, pen to paper. But, 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 and yet when you're singing, you're always smiling though. Um, I think it's just that resiliency. (laughs) Like, you know, that saying where it's like, Um, you laugh to keep from crying like I laugh all the time because if I don't I will cry all the time (laughs) I literally just like put my I focus and I'm like all right I'm gonna get through this and singing is my way to get through it so as I'm singing I'm coping as I'm singing this is like therapy for me so by the Mm -hmm. end of it like I'm feeling good I'm feeling better because I'm at least releasing it and I'm not like pinning, you know, holding all that in, pins up feelings inside. Jazz said you're writing history. I like that. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) You're documenting your history. Yes. Absolutely. Speaking of married, how is married life? Married life. Married life is beautiful. It is, um, it is a journey, girl. I'm just speaking straight up. It's a journey. Um, it's a lot of learning about not only about that person, but it's a lot about learning about who I am. I've learned so much about myself in the past. Like I've been married, it'd be two years in October, 
but we've been together for six years. Um, so wow. I've learned so much about myself, like the good, the bad, and the brutally ugly. <laughs> and it could get pretty ugly. Um, but overall, it's just nice having like a consistent person on your team. Like, like that's my person. So it feels good to grow together for sure. Well, what advice would you give to someone who is having those relationship struggles? Uh, honesty and communication and not being afraid. Um, for me, a lot of it was like in the beginning of my relationship, I, I wouldn't be honest. I wouldn't be super open. Um, I would keep a lot of my feelings inside and just bite the bullet and keep going. And I realized that that stopped me from growing as a person. It stopped me from being genuine. Like I wasn't being real if I couldn't be real with the one person that I was supposed to be super honest with, that I was supposed to let my guard down to. Um, and yeah, that wasn't fun and it didn't feel good and it, it didn't help our relationship. So I would definitely say like, have those hard conversations, even when your voice shakes, even when it's super uncomfortable and there's going to be tears and there's going to be fights behind it, because that's the only way I feel like you can get past certain things is if you put it all out there on the table. Mm. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So how long have you been natural? Yes, natural. Um, I went natural in uh damn. 2013 yeah maybe oh 2013, 2012 yeah mm -hmm. well, what, so, what made you want to go natural um my hair was just like because I, I had perm and my hair was just so thin breaking off couldn't do anything to it it just yeah it was not it was not it was not cute um, so I transitioned for a little bit and then my sister actually did the big chop for me and my hair was super, super short and I was super self-conscious, um, but I just wanted healthy hair. I wanted healthy hair and I was just tired of like, it looked cute when you, you know, when you first get it done and it's nice and straight and silky, it looks good. But yeah, then after a yeah, while, I, that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, <love> that feeling. <laughs> I love that, but it's like, okay, I can't get it wet after a while it gets too stringy and I'm just like no and I was spending too much money getting it done all the time so I was like no I'm gonna just try something different and here we are so so so, so when, when you did the, the big chop did you wear mm -hmm. wigs or did, you just you just you just let it out I just let it out girl that was so scary <laughs> that was so scary for me because um I felt like I looked like a boy. And one guy told me, like, after I did a big chop, he was like, so you're no longer physically attracted to me. And I was just like, screw okay. you. And I was, like, so offended. I was like, uh, he was like, I don't like girls with natural hair. And I was like, okay, that's cool. I guess you don't like that's me. That's cool. Like, yeah, I'm fine. Um, so I had to, like, I literally had to love myself more. It made me be, like, more confident in myself. Um, it was not easy though, but lots of big earrings and just embracing who I am and getting dolled up with my short hairstyles. Um, it was cool. It was fun. It was, uh, what's the, what's the word? It was like, um, revitalizing, honestly, because mm -hmm. I'm just like embracing this new person that comes along with this, you know? So it's pretty dope. Yeah. Cause I've noticed a lot of people our age, cause I think we're the same age. How old are you girl? You going to tell <laughs> I, I I remember when Michael Jackson was black. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so we're the same age. <laughs> so I, I remember not, not being forced to, like, like our mothers weren't, like, sticking a gun down our throat. But I remember, like, you know, being, like, having those perms every, every month, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And, I, and I'm seeing, like, people our age now are like, ugh. Like I'm getting alopecia. Like my my edges are just mm. growing back now. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like we're, I'm too young to be having alopecia. I'm so, I'm too young to be balding. Seriously. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I like it though. Yeah. There. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to do the I'm trying to do the big chop, but I'm I'm scared. Are you transitioning? <laughs> what about transitioning? I'm I'm, I'm I'm technically natural, but I just okay. wear a wig. Got you. But I got you. For real though, no, because like, um, have you ever heard of a uh, PCOS? No, it's a polycystic ovary syndrome, 
Anyway, no, okay. it's like um, it you can or cannot like sometimes you'll have like um cysts in your ovaries, but it also like happens with like you get other different symptoms. So one of my symptoms that I had um <clears throat> for like maybe a few years have been hair thinning. So my hair has been like going through its own crazy journey. So this is like the the healthiest my hair has been in years actually. Um. So I've just been like taking proper care of it. And eventually, you know, it's it's definitely grown. But for a while, I was wearing I was definitely wearing wigs for like maybe a couple years just because it was just so damaged. There was just so much damage. So now I'm like, finally, oh, girl, you have no idea. It's been a struggle. Is, uh, <laughs> is that for health reasons or just um from, from yeah. reasons? Oh, both, okay. both. Yeah. Health reasons oh, wow. and for and for the perms. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But like really there really were no warning labels on 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 no. like before on the rel yeah. relaxing boxes. You didn't realize like the long term effects. We didn't nobody nobody knew the long term effects. I still don't know. Cause like could you imagine putting that like chemicals on your scalp every month for years? I don't even know. Yeah. And I did it. Yeah. I mean, we all did it. Anyone we all did it. it now, everyone's <laughs> right. nodding their head right now. Right. They're like, yeah, I did it. I yeah. sat it in my grandmother's lap. You know? oh, oh. When <laughs> that stuff burns. Yes, yes, we did it. <laughs> oh, my God. We, we're all traumatized. <laughs> um, what's your biggest failure in life present tense, and what have you learned from it? Whoa, with the deep questions. <laughs> oh, sorry. I would say zero to 100. Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. What is my current, as of right now, my biggest failure? Mm -hmm. okay, what was part two of the question? Just so I and what have you learned it. from it? <sighs> Damn. My biggest failure, probably... Um, okay. Giving up or like letting, letting opportunities to be a professional singer go. I've had yeah. multiple opportunities to do this and do this right since I was 14, 15. And all of those times I had so much self doubt. So I, I allowed that self doubt to stop me from just going with it and trying something new. Um, and I would, I guess I would classify that as a failure just because like, I just didn't believe in myself. I didn't put any type of effort or um, I didn't think I was deserving enough to live that type of life, to put myself out there and sing for people. Um, so it stopped me. I allowed fear to stop me for a very, very long time. Um, so I feel like it's helped me grow because here I am today. Like I would have never been on live talking to you last year. This was not even something that I was even going to consider. Um, singing more and putting myself <clears throat> out there for people to see. That is something that I would have never in my entire, I was so scared. Like I was so afraid of what are people going to think of me? I don't necessarily know if I look the part of what an artist looks like. Um, I don't know if I have, you know, the skill. Everybody's a good singer. There's so many different singers out there. Why, you know, what makes me different? What makes me better? So yeah. that, that definitely stopped me in my tracks from living my life. So, but not anymore. Not today. <laughs> I love not today. that. I love that. So you, um, you said you wear many hats. Yeah. One of them being a tarot reader. Yeah. You recently did a tarot reading for me, and it made me yeah. very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really great reading. That was a really beautiful reading. You yeah. think so? I know so, for sure. For sure. So what, what made you start getting into that? Um, so like I said, like my family has been very religious. So I was religious like majority of my life. Um, raised as a Christian, went to church, all of that. And um Around like 2013, after I graduated college, I just started slowly challenging the things that I was taught growing up. And I was like, this doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't feel good. 
Um, and mm-hmm. I also wanted to take more responsibility and control over my life. So I said, okay, I'm going to walk away from Christianity. And that was pretty hard. Um, and then I decided to just focus on, okay, I didn't think, like, I believe in a higher being. I believe that there's somebody greater than myself, but I didn't know what that was. And I wasn't ready to jump into another religion. So I decided to just focus more on me and my spiritual being um, and how I felt and started the journey towards like self-love and learning more about myself and embracing, you know, the good and the bad of me. I started to like look into astrology, look more into my sign, look more into like the signs that I started to see the synchronicities and numbers and vibrations and different energy that people you know, gave to me and I gave to them. Um, And then I kind of just stumbled. It stumbled upon like, you know, different YouTube videos, crystals, like learning more about healing energy. Um, And then that's how I came into like tarot. Um, I actually went to um, New Orleans like a few years ago. And I, that's where I had my first reading. And I was like, oh, this seems pretty cool. Like, let's go down to New Orleans where they, like, the voodoo's popping. And like, <laughs> let's get a tarot reading and see how I feel. And I was so nervous. Um, but it was amazing. It was the most, uh, like, insightful reading that I've ever gotten to this day. And I've had readings before. Um, but it was, it was pretty dope. So I was, like, really interested. And that's when I started. Like, I was like, okay, well, I think I could do this on my own. So I bought the decks and I started practicing. I started learning and it just evolved into slowly giving them to other people. And now it's a thing. (laughs) It's a thing that I love. I love it. I love it. You're really good. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I I still, I still look at it every morning. I'm like, okay, like I'm doing good. I'm doing okay. The cards don't lie. I hope the cards don't lie. (laughs) (laughs) That's literally what I keep telling people. Like, I'm just like shuffling these and we're putting it out there. And this is what you're, you know, these are what your spirit guides want you to see. Like, I'm just the, I like to think I'm just the, the, the portal or the messenger or something, something like that. Yeah. You're you're just the vessel. Yes, absolutely. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Um, I am energy. Yes. Where? (laughs) 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 Where did you get your name from? (laughs) My name. Um. So I um. You know, as like any singer, you try to think. Okay, are you going to use your real name? Are you going to have like your own name? Um. And something that people have been telling me all the time, like for a lot of my life is, yo, you have really good energy. You have really good energy. I like that. I like your energy, energy, energy. I'm like, energy, energy. I was like, I like that. Um, So it literally was like, that's my name because I have this energy apparently. And um, I started to like play around with it, think about it a lot. And then I was like, okay, I wanted to like change it up. Um, So like the spelling with the J, it's for my first name. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's personalized, it's special to me, and it's um, just my essence, I feel like. It, it really is. I, I don't know what it is about you. You're just so like, you just come off very calm. Mm. Is, is that something, like, obviously, <laughs> it's something that, you, that you've worked towards? Yes, absolutely. That, 100%. <laughs> 100% I work for it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, because I, um, I'm a very emotional being. So mm. I am also like an empath. So I feel everyone's energy like so intensely to the point where it's like sometimes I really have to shut down and not talk to people, not engage in anything. Like I can't see the news. I can't see anything because all of that emotion that comes with it is just something that I feel so strongly. So I've had to work on inner peace a lot and meditation and just like being in the present moment and being in tune with my emotions and not carrying everybody else's along with me, if that makes sense. It so does. It does. yeah. So because of that, 
I feel like maybe that's where I get some of my calming energy. But I do have a turn up, you know, when I'm like rowdy and <laughs> and really crazy and angry. So it's like I feel all of these things, but I feel like that's this right here is my baseline. Do you do you meditate daily? No, but I need to. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, yeah, I try. I definitely try. Um, now more than ever, like. I don't know. There's just too much that's happening, um, like, on, like, with Black people in the news, like, everything. So I just feel like I need to ground myself. So I started meditating, you know, in the morning. Um, but I try to meditate weekly, uh, every other day, whenever I see fit, whenever. I, yeah. So this is something that um, I've been tr struggling with. Okay. Um, recently present tense. How do you meditate slash what recommendations would you give to someone who is struggling trying to quiet their mind? Okay, so quieting your mind, you would think that meditation is something that you like you are doing it in order to quiet your mind, but that's false. Um, when things come up for you, that is part of the meditation. You're going to be learning things. So meditation for me is staying in the present moment. If I can stay in the present moment, even with other thoughts, feelings popping up, I'm still in, you know, I'm still in the present. That's good. That's where I'm focusing on is being mindful, being mindfully in the moment. The thoughts and the feelings that have, I mean, that come up while I'm meditating, that's part of the journey. So it was supposed to come up. So maybe that might be something that I need to address. Maybe that's something that is coming up for a specific reason and I need to figure that out more, dig a little deeper. Yeah. So I would say um, meditating is intentional um, and focusing on like, okay, today, no matter what happens, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to meditate and I'm going to be just present in the moment. And the best way is breathing. The breath. The best way is just listening to your breath, feeling your body fill up with oxygen and then release that and staying, staying with the breath, staying with the breath. Um, you might think yeah. about what you have to do later. You might think about other responsibilities and that's cool because that's just your brain doing what it's supposed to do. Um, it's functioning properly. Acknowledge that, acknowledge those thoughts and come right back to your breath. Um, so that's something that I feel like works because you don't want to focus just on like clearing your mind because those things that are coming up might be something that you need to pay attention to. But it's more so my intention is I'm going to be present in the moment. Because after this, I'm going to be doing so many different other things. And I'm going to get right back into my busy life. But I want to dedicate and give myself this gift of the present time. Because that's all we really have at the end of the day. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. You can make me meditate after this. Girl. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love meditating. It's um it's really it's a beautiful experience and I feel like so many people think that it's so hard, but it's just like it's your perception. If you think that it's hard, it's going to be hard. And that's facts. Mm -hmm. But if you're like this is easy, this is something that I'm supposed to do. My brain is working. My spirits are telling me that this is something that I need to pay attention to. Um, like if you're thinking of a person or you're thinking of a, or, or if you're feeling an emotion while you're meditating, like if you're feeling impatient or if you're feeling um, angry while you're meditating, you're trying to be like, okay, I'm going to calm down. Be yeah. calm, be calm. Pay attention to that anger. Why are you angry? Why are you anxious? Like these are things that are coming up for a specific reason. So I don't know, meditating for me, it's like you get to observe your body shows you signs of what you need to pay attention to. It does all the work for you. You know, all you have to do is just sit there and breathe and everything else will, will take its place and mm. become evident. Yeah. Everyone's feeling what you're saying right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> yes. I'm um, so Mm -hmm. So your um your full time job as a social worker, yeah. how do you balance your full time job with your your social media presence? Because I'm sure that's gonna be right tough. It's, it is it, it's challenging already, girl. <laughs> it's very oh, no. <laughs> um, but it's also like I don't know. I like to juggle, 
um, for me, it's like, I can't just do one thing. So I can't just do social work. Like I've tried, I've put all of my energy into my job, um, into my profession. And that was just, I burnt out so fast and I was so tired. And that's why I left my one job because I was like, it's, all or nothing and I don't have a way to release all of this tension and like stress from my job um so I balance it and I feel like 2020 has been really helpful for me for this because I've been quarantined so I've been working from home it gives me more flexibility to okay I'm gonna do my work but I'm also gonna write this music I'm gonna do my work but I'm also gonna like post and interact with people and put and you know put my my stuff out there a little bit more um so I'm all about balance. And I think that's the Libra in me. It's all about like the balance. Like I need balance. I can't just have all of my energy in one task. It has to be something else or I just don't feel right. Yeah. So speaking of, of your work, you yeah. have, um, can, can you do, do your plugs? Tell us where we can follow you, stalk you. You have something, <laughs> even a new release coming up, coming up soon, or did yes, you release it already? It's coming up soon. So I have a couple of releases that are coming out soon. So you all can find me on Instagram at I am energy, um, E N E R J Y. And I'm also on Facebook, energy, same spelling. I am also on YouTube, I am energy there. Um, so I do some covers. Um, I'm also going to be posting some meditations on my YouTube too. Oh. Um, so yeah, so check out those coming soon. Please and post those. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I really got you because I just want everybody to feel that good inner peace. Like it's a, it's obtainable for real. Yeah, thank you for spelling it out for me. <laughs> yeah yo Rashawn is like super popular always he's always been popular <laughs> so on, on Facebook on Facebook it's, it's just energy correct yes okay mm -hmm. okay I'll, I'll, I'll follow you after this as well and can, can you tell us about the releases that you have coming up yeah so I have one release that is um like a major vibe it's um <laughs> oh man <laughs> um it's a major vibe. It's a like a club, very, it's like, we're dancing. You're going to dance. You're going to dance the whole song. It's, um, it's something different that I've never done before. Um, but I just like different genres and I like feel good music. And I think this is something that we could all use right about now. And um, my second release is um, all about love. So I like to write about love. I like writing about love. Um, and the different phases of love. So it's coming. It's really coming. <laughs> We're working on it. I didn't write this down, but I, I feel an impulse to ask you this, if ask you don't mind. Anything. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like talking so, with you. So. Oh, oh, really? Yay! I, I like talking with you. <laughs> so um, I, was, I was talking to an individual, and I was asking them, how do you know when you're in love? Mm. So what would your, your response be? You know that you're, or I knew that I was in love when I just wanted, <laughs> when I decided to really let all of my like walls down to the extent of this person seeing such a vulnerable part of me that honestly no one has seen in my life and I could be able to trust that person um so for me it was more so like I'm really gonna put all of my trust in you can you handle this and I want you to be there to handle it like I want you to support me and see me for all of me all of me so um that's what I think. But I can, like, it's hard for me because I am a Libra and I fall hard fast. So I can, like, really fall in love. And it's just because it's like, I love love. Like, love itself is so beautiful. So I'm just like, I love it. And I just want to love. But for me, yeah, it was when I was able to be like, all right, can I trust you with all of me? Can I trust you with the parts of me that I'm afraid to let anyone else see? Yeah. Mm. 
That's beautiful. Thanks. Okay, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry That's I'm good. Right now. <laughs> um, That's cool. do, you, do you have any do you have any words of advice? Because I, I feel like there's a lot of vocalists online mm-hmm. who feel very very saturated, very lost within the, the fold of, of everything. Okay. Do you have any advice for them specifically? Because I think you're the first singer I've ever had on my channel. Yes. Oh, so, yeah, give, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. please, 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 please give the, the singer some advice. Singers, do the damn thing. Just fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just really do it. Like, there is enough room at the table there's enough food for everybody to eat and that's what i that's what i'm realizing now is like don't wait you keep waiting and you keep waiting and you're literally gonna look up one day and you're gonna be like i wish i would have done this a long time ago and i don't want to have any regrets nobody wants any regrets just do it just do it and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but at least you know at the end of the day that you did it and no yes. one can be you. No one can be you. So that's your superpower right there. Like, yes, there are so many artists that sound alike. However, they're all different. And they bring a different energy. They are different beings. So that right there is something that no one else is going to have on you. And that's what I had to learn to be like, oh, okay, I, I got this. I, I can do this. Because no one is like energy. So I'm doing it. And you guys can do it too. For sure. Energy, I'm so, I'm so happy that I know oh. you. Yo, I felt that wholeheartedly. Thank you. I, I really, really am. Yeah. This, this has been so rewarding. It really has been. I'm happy to get to know you too and get to know you like on that intimate level of like readings and talking and your energy is. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I always told you, know- you, I told you from the jump, your energy is like, your energy is, um, vibrant and it's intense and it's, it's like intense. powerful it's very powerful <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, all my ex-boyfriends they know how they know how intense it can be <laughs> like intense in all purposes of the word like it's magnetic that's what it is it's magnetic so everyone will gravitate towards you and want to know you because i want to know you i wanted to know you when i first like I was like, okay, who is uh, the awesome dragons? Let me let me follow. Let me see what's good. Yeah, you're dope. No, you're dope. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank, <laughs> thank, thank you so much for this rewarding experience. I expect us to do this again. Yes, I really appreciate the future, it. After you've sold a million albums. And mm, I'll girl. be like, you, look, look at our before and after. Seriously, because <laughs> you're my first oh. interview, so thank you. Yeah, I really oh, yeah. appreciate you. No, no, thank yeah. you. Thank you. All right, well, you enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks, you And so I'll much. talk to you later, okay? All right, bye, y'all. <laughs> bye. Okay.